More and more embedded devices and sensors are connected to each other and to the internet. Then the devices can be remotely controllable and their data accessible anywhere using any kind of devices the users might have. This is the Internet of Things. However, as exciting as all the new innovations around this are, the complexity for creating embedded systems along with the technical requirements for setting up these systems and their backends has increased dramatically. The Cute Weather Station is a simple implementation of Internet of Things. It features these weather stations all equipped with wireless weather sensors connected to an embedded device. The device is connected to Qt Cloud where it streams the data along with showing it locally on the device. From the Qt Cloud you can access the device data from any mobile device or desktop PC. My name is Andy Nichols and I'm a software engineer at Digia. So I was responsible for writing the C++ backend for the embedded device that runs the weather node. So the embedded device is responsible for communicating with the weather sensors via USB. It takes this data and it puts it into a JSON object and displays this in the local UI as well as in Genio data storage. I'm using the Raspberry Pi which is flashed with the pre-built software image that comes with Qt Enterprise embedded. This way I can use the pre-configured Qt Creator ID to deploy directly to the Raspberry Pi and immediately see my software running on the device. Because I'm using Qt, the details of the platform don't really matter. I could just as well be writing a desktop software and yet I'm writing embedded. So the implementation details were actually rather easy. Qt had already taken care of the details, I just needed to implement the content. My name is Mitch Curtis and I'm a software engineer at Digio. I wrote the UI for the weather client. The client runs on embedded desktop and mobile devices. We had a designer for the project and she gave us a PDF for the requirements. The design changed several times but it was easy to keep up because QQuick allows rapid prototyping of UIs. Testing the app on desktop is great because you can see how the UI responds to scaling when you resize the window, but occasionally you need to test it on mobile as well. It's super easy with Qt Creator because deploying to a mobile device is just a matter of switching kits and hitting run. With Qt Enterprise Embedded, you can use one technology for all target platforms, and you can reuse the same code across everything. This is what Qt is for. We want you to be able to take your software everywhere.